Juneau County is a very small, rural, poor community. We have about 28,000 people and we're situated in central, southern Wisconsin. I am Barb Theis and I am the health officer with the Juneau County Health Department. We received our county health ranking report. We were dead last. We were the unhealthiest county in the state. But we turned it around, we challenged ourselves, we're now moving forward, and we have committed stakeholders that are working together to make our county one of the healthiest, and none of this would have happened without that county health ranking report. So who, who ranks number one? Uh, looks like Florence. I'm Pat Remington. I'm the Associate Dean for Public Health at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. This is the first time the county health rankings will be going national so that every county in the nation will be able to assess its own health. This is the first time ever that we've been able to have information for every resident to know how healthy their county is, be able to compare it to their neighbors and to the rest of the counties in the state to find out where they excel and, and where they need to improve. We built the first measure of overall health in every county and every state in the nation. Take Wisconsin, where I live and work. We rank the health outcomes for every county, including measures of premature death and also quality of life. We then summarized all of these health outcome measures into a single rank list from the healthiest county to the least healthy county in the state. We also rank the factors that affect health, behaviors like smoking and obesity, healthcare, access and quality, social and economic factors like unemployment or the rate of children in poverty, and measures of the environment such as air pollution or places where you can buy healthy food. And now every person in every county in the United States can go online and get a snapshot describing the overall health of their county. I'm Risa Lavizo mori the President and CEO of the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, and we invited Pat Remington to come to the Foundation and tell us about the County Health Rankings. I've been struck in conversations with people all across the, the country that one of the biggest motivators for changing uh, and improving the health of your your area, particularly if you're an elected official, is having local data. We find that health uh, becomes local when you bring the data down to the community level. It's a lot different to be thinking about health indicators that are at a national or a state level, but when we tell a community that they're dead last in the state, that they can understand. We have twice the rate of smokers in our pregnant women. When we compare it to the state, we have a very high teenage pregnancy rate. We have obesity. We have lack of exercise. We do not have a good intake of fruits and vegetables. We do have a lot of fast foods, and a lot of people do buy fast foods. When I can compare Juneau County's data to other like demographic counties in the state, and I can say to them, you know, we need to understand that we can improve. Other counties with very similar demographics are making these changes. And people somehow, um, with this rankings, with this report card, they become competitive because they want to improve that ranking, and the only way to improve that ranking is improving their health. I was really struck by the fact that in Juneau County they started with access to care. Can you tell me a little bit about why they started there and is that going to be the only thing that they do? It has to be really a two-fold approach. One is address the urgent health care needs but also think about those upstream factors that lead to healthier communities and they're uh, investing in both right now. Needs. When we started to develop a health improvement plan, 
we incorporated where we could some short-term goals, addressing our access to health care. The amount that you should be eating right now. Our prenatal care coordination program is an excellent program. And so what we did is we combined it with our WIC. We made it a seamless program. All right, first thing, sir, I'd like to invite you to eat together. That's terrific. The Mostyn Dental Clinic is also a result of the county health rankings. So no toothaches or any particular... Prior to that, there was no other dentist taking anyone with medical assistance. We're going to have to start to address the needs upstream. And in order to do that, we're going to work with businesses, we're going to work with our providers, and together develop that health improvement plan that will be more prevention oriented. So they aren't in this just for the next couple of years, they're in it for five or 10 years uh, to invest today to see uh, return on those investments uh, in, in a decade or two. And I think you make a very good point because it says that as a nation, we have to invest in this kind of comprehensive health data if we're going to improve the health of our population uh, over the short term and the long term. What the county rankings did in Juneau County was brought everybody together by pointing out the important upstream factors, those things like uh, education and employment opportunities. If they don't fix those root causes, they'll continue to be working downstream, providing health care to the same sick people in the community. How do you respond to the state health officer or the county officer who's saying, uh, my budget has already been cut 20%? How do we talk about that in these difficult times? It's a community problem that will require everybody to come to the table. And simply using the same old solutions to address the problems, paying for the high cost of health care, are not going to get us to a place where people live longer and healthier lives that eventually lead to uh, better economies and uh, less problems with budgets and communities. The advantage of the county rankings is that it's a clear call to action and the media become interested, policymakers become interested. You still need to have employers and the public health department and uh, the educators, faith-based leaders coming together to solve some of these complex issues. When our county health rankings came out, that front page story, that was the catalyst that called the attention to the problem and brought the community together. When the ranking report came on out, you have to imagine everybody's alarm when the front page of our local newspaper showed in color this big, sad face. And the caption is, the county is the state's unhealthiest. When you're going to address the health of your population, it can't just be, oh, it's the doctor's problem. That plan has to involve education, it has to involve providers, it has to involve faith-based and businesses and policy makers, local citizens, all of us. They've been at this for six years. Have they improved? What we have seen is that the communities come together, they've built a strong coalition of partners that have never been at the table before, and they're putting into place evidence-based programs to improve the quality and access to health care, and they're just beginning to plan programs to address some of the root causes of health problems. Those things will all contribute to a healthier community down the road. <laughs>